Hi, I'm Kira. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to my new series. It is combining two of my favorite things, which is playing The Sims and making food and eventually eating it. I kind of don't know what's gonna happen. We're gonna let The Sims sort of dictate how this series goes. So if you don't like it, let me know. And if you do, also let me know. <laughs> I'm gonna make one of my first characters using the story mode so things could get a little dicey. What age? Let's go with young adults so we have some time to live with this person. How close to the water do I wanna be? Uh, I think we should be a mermaid. Whenever I visit the ocean, how do I feel? Let's go with keep it swim or safe. When taking a quiz, I... Well, here's the thing. If you're taking a quiz, what's the context? These don't have enough context. I want a new question. Before bed, I'm likely to... I'm probably gonna watch a cat video. What do I know about vampires? Um, they're creatures in teen novels. I see trash all over the beach, what do I do? And depending on the scope of the trash and what all over means, I think we could probably clean it up. What's my favorite pastime? Um, none of these. How often do I visit the gym? Let's just say that's not for me. What do I save money for? The future. As a child, I wanted to work, I would say for myself because that seems like the only human-centered option here, right? What's the best way to experience the lunar eclipse? Let's dress in black. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Dornibka. She has a career. She's a business mermaid. She knows about vampires. She has the logic skill. So her story is beach life. Become happy when they're in their home neighborhood. Lazy. A lazy mermaid. Gloomy. Sure. A cat lover. But she's a fish. Can a mermaid and a cat be friends? Let's find out. We're gonna randomize the way she looks by doing a random number and then clicking the dice on anything that it lets us do. Siri, pick a number between one and 10. It's one. Oh, we get one turn. Oh, I don't like that. All right, so for her tail, I like this tail. One. That one's not bad. Uh, all right, one. Ew, ew, I don't like this one. One. That's not bad eyebrows. One. All right. One. God. Dang it. Those. One. She looks normal, right? Yeah, it doesn't add any like witchiness to her. These are nice lips. One. All right, let's go with ears. Elf ears in here. Oh, great. Door Minga. And then Bert. <laughs> Dormingo Bert. Okay, where can we move? We could live in this one. Lagoon, look. All right. You look so unfortunate. Well, what are our aspirations? Get a suntan. Earn gold on a kava party. What's kava? Eat a coconut. Let's work on getting a suntan. Wait, come back. Wait, fatigued? When did she get fatigued? What does this mean? Oh my God, she hates activity, but she's a mermaid. Wait, stop. Wait, 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 stop. We don't even know what this house looks like. Oh. Oh. Apply sunburn protection, you wild child. So she has been getting a tan, applying sun protection. Oh my God, she's got a tan. <laughs> she's so tan. Oh, what is she doing? Okay, I'm bored. Can I get a coconut? No, but look, there's a lot of delicious food. Why can't mermaids use the bathroom in the ocean? Well, let's just go home. What is kava? <gasps> there's already kava. Did someone bring kava while we were gone? All right, we need to have a kava party. Who do we know? Let's 
add all these people. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it here. What do we do? Socialize, invite guests to drink kava. Okay, girl, what's she doing? What's she doing? Oh my God, so strange. Who, why is everyone using our computer? What is he doing? I'll uh, make a group meal. What are we gonna make? Vegetable dumplings. I've never made vegetable dumplings. What is she doing? In my kitchen? Girl, come on. We got a party to win. She is chopping something. Oh, yeah, I'm having some into a bowl. This is a very wet looking dumpling. Is this just part of the process? Is talking excessively? What's wrong with her? Okay, so. <laughs> No, we're not gonna, we're gonna bronze metal this. Ugh, girl. Uh, excuse me. So we just pour this into the oven. Perfect. All right, what did we get? Is that silver? That's not bad. Oh, okay, everyone's leaving. Oh, girl. Uh, no. You have, why are you eating that? Eat your dumplings. I love that she made dumplings. Everyone left. Girl, eat these dumplings or else. Well, I guess we're making vegetable dumplings. So gyoza is kind of like a vegetable dumpling. It is a vegetable dumpling. We're gonna make the ones that are pan fried cause it's nice that they're crispy and they're chewy and they're delicious. This is my first time making them. That's what's happening. I'm frazzled. So we have a cup of all-purpose flour and like a pinch of salt, and we're gonna start working on our wonton wrappers. Two thirds of a cup, almost, of boiling water. Okay, it's supposed to be crumbly, and then we're just supposed to put it on the table. It's hot, it's very hot. I didn't think it would retain that much heat. <laughs> Eight to 10 minutes until smooth. Oh, that looks very smooth. All right, so this is just to make sure that when we cut it, they're all equal portions, which is, I get it. I get it, I don't wanna do it, but I get it. Don't it. Let's just put this boy in here like this. All right, so we're gonna start working on our filling. We're gonna be working with some ginger. It's so only about like mm, one and a half teaspoons probably. So I'm just gonna mince it. Let's heat a pan really fast. And I'm just heating it over a medium heat right now. And then we'll add our oil. Let's do one clove. I'm gonna just gonna <laughs> I wanna add the white part. I'm gonna add that to my little mixture here. I'm just gonna move all that over here, and then prep our carrot. And Some people like shredded. I probably should shred this. It's a little, it's not too late. Dope, 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 dope. Is there food in my hair? Cause it feels like it. I think there is. Let's put that to the side. All right, so we have about a half a cup carrot. I'm gonna rough chop about half cup of baby bellas. I'm thinking the vegetable, these are not really vegetables, right? They're fungus. It's gonna give us a texture, kind of like the pork, but without pork. <laughs> Do we have vegetable oil? Let me check. I have vegetable oil. So let's put about a tablespoon, maybe a teaspoon. That looks like a tablespoon. <laughs> and quick, move it around. So that's burning already. Take it off. Take it off if it's burning. We're gonna add these boys. So we're adding our mushrooms, our carrots. 
So what we're waiting to see is the water release from the mushrooms. All right, so let's add a little bit of soy sauce and sesame oil. Touch of sesame. Add a teaspoon and a half of uh, soy sauce, but that's to your liking. How's it going, everybody in this pot? It needs some time. So we'll let that finish cooking. We're gonna move on to our wrapper so that nothing is just like dead time. All right, so I need to cut this in half. It's not as equal as I thought I had made it, but oh well. <laughs> We're gonna cut it in half. And we cut this in half, this in half, this in half. And I think I cut them in half again to get 16 wrappers because they need to be pretty thin, pretty small. Shape, shape, that's not gonna happen. So let's just move all of these over and believe in ourselves because we've never made wonton wrappers before. An actually lightly floured surface. Is that light, is that light, is that light? That feels light. So I'm just gonna roll it out in a circle, it says. This is making me very sad. You know what? That's not bad. Oh, it's so thin, look at it. So that's small, it's very small. We're gonna, we're just gonna cheat, like a little bit. So maybe we can get, hey, yes. Look at that, look at that. It's a circle. We're moving on, we're gonna be like warp speed, right? Like crazy fast. I spared you while I made 16 of these. I think it's 16, I'm not quite sure. It should have been. But I'm gonna put about, I don't know, like a teaspoon of filling in here. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna wet this. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I watched like a video. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this. Oh, that one's not very good. Okay, well that's, that's one way to do it. It's not that great. That's not that bad, right? So there's one ugly one. We'll try again. Ooh. Teaspoon here. This is painful. Y'all, I'm embarrassed. That kind of looks like something, right? This is bad, right? How oh God, okay. Right? Can you see it? Did you make those? I made all of these, aren't you impressed? I know. I ran around with a fourth grade. Fold it in half. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna start crimping on this first corner. Oh, oh don't stick it together. Oh, well, that's what I did. Crimp. Oh no. Oh, that one's bad. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't fully comprehend what you were doing. Did you do it? No. This is hideous. Oh, yeah, that's bad. It's close. All right, I think I can only get one more out of this. I've got some tablespoons, like one to two over a medium heat. I didn't get very many. I got about 11. Okay, this seems hot. So we're just gonna put these in here. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just feel like the food process is very lazy in The Sims. A lot of the animations are similar, and that's not how cooking generally works, especially vegetable dumplings. I have learned. You don't pour it into the oven. So they're screaming. Are they brown yet? Oh, they're getting brown. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Feels like a really bad idea. Why would I do that? I gotta start an oil fire.
Thanks for watching my experimental content. I hope you like it and I hope it's fun. And if not, we'll figure something out. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.